single stack nines have become the new rage, but SIG was making them way before it was the cool thing to do. Recently they reintroduced an old design, but they didn't just dust off an old model and see if they could pass it off as something new. They added a few excellent new features that really brings the P225A1 to a whole new level. If you watched my review on the SIG Legion series, you know that I'm a huge fan of that line. And I love how SIG took some of the best aspects from the Legion series and brought it to the P225A1. In fact, you could almost think of the new 225 as a single stack 9 version of the Legion, or as I like to call it, the Mini Legion. The first feature I want to talk about that you'll also see on the Legion is the undercut frame. This seems like a small detail, but it makes a huge difference in how these guns feel in your hand. The undercut lets you choke up higher on the pistol a bit, giving you a much better grip on the gun and makes it extremely comfortable. The SIG 225A1 also has the same amazing trigger that the Legion series has. It's a very smooth 10 pounds in double action and about 4.5 in single action with an unbelievably short reset. SIG refers to this as the short reset trigger or SRT and you can see why. Needless to say it's everything you could ever want a trigger to be. The front strap has some very nice checkering and the new 225 also features G10 grips. Both items borrowed from the Legion series and with both guns it gives you a superb and very positive grip. I opted for the 225 that comes with night sights and they work great in any lighting condition. Just holding this gun you can feel the exceptional SIG quality, and that's not exactly the feeling you get when you pick up some of the other single stack 9s on the market. You'll also get some basic features on this gun you won't see on most of its competition. For instance, you'll get SIG's traditional double single action design with the decocking lever. This is a great option for concealed carry because you can load up the gun, pull the decocking lever, and the first round will have that tougher 10 pound pull, functioning almost like a safety. And should a bad situation occur, subsequent trigger pulls will be much lighter should you have to do some precision work. It also has frame rails that span almost the entire length of the gun, which greatly helps with accuracy and just gives the gun a nice solid feel. Most other single stack 9s just have 4 contact points. The gun also shoots like a much larger gun. Accuracy is phenomenal and the all alloy frame eats up the recoil. I can make shots with this gun that I thought I could only make with a full size, and I actually enjoy shooting it, which I can't say about most other single stack 9s. And when you have fun shooting, you'll practice more, which is always a good thing to do with a carry piece. This thing is rock solid like all six. We put a thousand rounds through it without a single malfunction or cleaning. And I really believe it would go another thousand easily. However, the size is one of the more divisive things about the SIG P225A1. It has all of those great attributes of a larger gun because it is larger.
The 225A1 is a good deal bigger than most of the other single stack nines on the market. Now this isn't a big deal to me, but it is something to think about in a concealed carry gun. In fact, the single stack P225 is only about a quarter inch smaller in every dimension than the double stack P229. Now this would be a great point to show the 225 next to a 229, but unfortunately I don't have one. I hope to get a P229 Legion in the near future, but I'm broke right now. You see, the president said, if you ever want to have any class three stuff, you better get it now. Oh, that's not what he said? Okay, well, that's what I heard. Anyway, I've been buying tax stamps like a stamp collector on a crack binge. Anyway, if you feel comfortable going a little bigger, like I said, about a quarter inch in every direction, the 229 would give you 15 plus one round capacity or 12 rounds in 357 SIG if you're thinking along the lines I am. At only a little bigger, that's quite a bit more capacity than the eight plus one rounds you'll get from the 225. But that is on the high end as far as capacity in the single stack 9 world goes. So you'll have to make your own mind up on how you feel about the size of the new 225. For me, I like it. It's big enough to give me a large gun feel, yet small enough that you can easily conceal it. I'm a huge fan of the added features borrowed from the Legion series. That, in my opinion, took this gun from so-so to a must-have for me. I also really like the double action, single action function for carry, along with the secure feeling I get from having SIG quality at my side. The new 225A1 is a great option for concealed carry. It's also a gun that you'll love taking to the range and shooting for fun. It just might not be for those people who are looking for a pistol they can throw in their pocket. But SIG makes other guns that can fit that bill.